Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following three examples. If you think about the derivative d by dx of cosecant x, this equals to negative cosecant x times cotangent x. And what this implies is if you want to find the antiderivative or the integration of cosecant x times cotangent x with respect to x, this will give you exactly negative cosecant x, negative, plus a constant c. Now, likewise, if you think about d by dx of secant x, again, when you find the derivative, this would give you secant x, 10x. Or, if you think about the antiderivative of secant x, 10x, with respect to x, this is equal to exactly secant x, again, plus a constant c. Last but not least, if you think about the derivative of cotangent x, again, this is going to be negative cosecant square x, or if you want to find the antiderivative, of cosecant square x with respect to x, of course, this equals to negative cotangent x plus c. I hope this makes sense.